Dan Brown once wrote in The Lost Symbol that there are no secret passageways in the House of the Temple. Well, Dan Brown took dramatic license. Hi, I'm Joshua Poole, museum curator and archival associate here at the Scottish Rite House of the Temple in Washington, D.C. And I'm Jace Gentil, Dawson intern at the House of the Temple. Today, we're going to give you a behind-the-scenes look at some of the locations of the House of the Temple that you don't typically see on your everyday tour, as well as some architectural features that you cannot see from the ground. Our first stop up the secret stairwell is the roof. This is one of the best places to see the palmite and egg and dart pattern that is repeated throughout the building. Welcome to the roof. Directly above us is the ziggurat. Ziggurat what? A ziggurat. A ziggurat is a stepped pyramid that originates from ancient Mesopotamia. This ziggurat weighs 332 tons and is completely supported by the dome that you can see from the temple room, making the combined weight supported by the dome an astonishing 800 tons. This particular dome and ziggurat was built by famous dome engineer Guastavino Moreno. Guastavino was famous for his ingenious tiling technique and concrete formula. This formula was a secret of Guastavino's and was one that he took with him to his grave. Even today, they have yet to be able to reproduce Guastavino's secret formula that he used for our dome. From the roof, you can also get a great view of the gargoyles, which are double-headed eagles, the symbol of Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Actually, Jace, these are not gargoyles. They're Acrotaria angularia, or Acrotarian. Well, what's the difference? Well, gargoyles actually serve a function. They have a water spout that allows water to be removed from the roof, whereas Acrotarians are strictly decorative features that can normally be found on the corners of a rooftop. So, actually, from the roof, you can get a great view of the Acrotarians. Now we've made our way back down the secret stairway to the colonnade. So here we are at the colonnade. Well, what's a colonnade, Josh? Well, a colonnade is simply just a row of columns that supports the roof. Well, what's so special about these columns, Josh? Well, for one, there are 33, as symbolic of the 33 degree system within the Scottish Rite. There are also allegedly 33 feet tall. But more importantly, they are monolithic, meaning that they've been carved from one piece of stone. Well, how did they get them here? Well, I'm glad you asked, Jace, because they came from your home state of Indiana. My home sweet home. These ionic columns were carved in Bedford, Indiana, and transported by train to Washington, D.C., where they were then installed here at the House of the Temple. From the western side of the building, you can also get a great view of the double-headed eagle, which is situated symbolically in the east. It is the most ornate of the eagles of the room, because the sun behind the eagle stretches far beyond the eagle's wings and across the majority of the window. Time for one last quick stop that you really can't get to on the tour. From all of us here at the House of the Temple, we want to thank you for joining us on this behind the scenes look at our magnificent structure. While you won't get to see the sights we've shown you in this video, remember that the House of the Temple is open for public tours between the hours of 10 and 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday. I'm Joshua Poole. And I'm Jace Gentil. And we hope to see you soon. Bye. Well, what's so special about these columns? Wait, were we supposed to do that? No, that's fine. He's gone. Oh. <laughs> no, it's it, Josh, this is Josh. She means you're talking too loud. Oh, okay. Said, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana. That's the town that knew me when. I thought it was Gary, Indiana, Indiana, Gary, no. Indiana. No, 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 no